Good evening, my name is Garrett, and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is from Journeyman Distillery. This is their corsets, whips, and whiskeys finished in beer barrels, coming in at a 54.44% ABV. So when it comes to Journeyman Distillery, I'm a huge fan of their offerings. Uh, I just love what they're doing. Being a craft distillery from Three Oaks, Michigan, and more recently opened up a location here in Indiana, so I try to visit there kind of often. I'm a, I'm a fan, I'm not gonna lie. But nonetheless, this is actually their Corsets, Whips, and Whiskeys, which is a 100% wheat mash bill, kept at cask strength, and then they paired up with Half Acre Beer Company to finish that whiskey in stout barrels. We have no official finishing time on how long was in those stout barrels for, but I mean, keeping it cast strength, doing something unique like this, I gotta give it credit. This is being 100% aged, distilled, and bottled by them on top of things. So we love seeing that kind of transparency here on the channel coming from a craft distillery. Let's just see how this one ends up. Let's jump into it. As always, I love pointing out, I love their bottles. These are all hand dipped by them as well. Like they go through the extra mile of making their whiskey amazing. Oh boy. And this is always the hardest part is getting these little pull tabs. Oh, that one wasn't too bad at all. Good. So as always, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hang around for a bit, become a member if you'd like. If you're interested in some individual reviews over some of Journeyman Distillery's products, they'll be linked up above and down below. Cause I have, again, picked up quite a few. And on top of things, you know, beans, this is 100% wheat. We do have to kind of go into it with a slightly different mindset. Uh, there's no corn, no rye, no barley, just 100% wheat. Beautiful dark color, very dark, almost dark rum, amber-like. Yeah, getting close to like a mahogany in there. Alrighty, let's go for notes. Woo, that has got some, wow, that has got chocolate on there. You are getting malty milk chocolate. And there is some funk on there. That's got some funk. Like that has got, oh man, I, it is weird. <laughs> Shut up. Like it is chocolatey for days, almost like melted chocolate, like like uh, Whoppers. Yeah, like a, um, like it's just got that Whopper note to it. Or like Easter chocolate, like the chocolate bunnies you get at Easter time. That is unique. A um, lot of spiciness to things as well. And there's definitely some ABV warmth on the nose. I mean, it has got like, I, I can barely get that to my nose before those fumes are like really hitting you. I might want to let this one air out for a moment because man, it's not like it's an off-putting ABV warmth, but it is potent. I'm trying to see what else is going on. That beer barrel, at least on the nose, has dominated. Now again, it means that it's 100% wheat. Wheat's not a super strong grain. It tends to be an accent grain. I'm trying to see what I can get down in there. I mean, I'm not getting anything wheat related. Maybe a little bit of spiciness, but it is malted chocolate, beery, barrel funk on there. It's got some spices, a little charriness in there too. Nice sweet vanilla is going on, but I think that's all from that beer barrel. Huh, I was not expecting this. I was expecting kind of like, a, oh, it's beer barrel finished and here's the wheat notes. No, this, oh, that is really just taking over. Not a bad thing, but that is chocolatey for days. Alrighty, let's go for a sip. That is different. I don't know what I think about that. Um, this might be the first thing that I'm very perplexed from them about. A lot of chocolate up front. Melted milk chocolate with some Whopper pieces going on to so that malted vanilla note going on. The spiciness from the wheat build is there. And then you're getting this kind of weird barrel note going on too. It's got kind of a funk to it. Very reminiscent of the nose. A little spicy, creamy vanillas. Almost like the head of a Guinness beer kind of flavor to it. Not Guinness itself, but like just the, the stout head on it. And then it's got a little bit of pepperiness in here. That is different. And I kind of dig it. 
And I'm also kind of scared. Boy, that is different. Boy, I don't know. That has got a lot of weird characteristics going on there. You're getting the multi beer, that kind of funk from that. You're getting that bit of spice and the charry layers from the whiskey itself. The palate does not come across as warm as the nose. Um, so you get a little bit of warmth on there, but it's, again, it's cask strength. Plus on top of that, you are getting that little bit of spiciness from that wheat build. I mean, it's not super complex. It's kind of weird because the process itself is very complex on the palate, but only complex because of the finishing. And again, that wheat doesn't necessarily have to be your major player here. It just doesn't do much for me personally besides that beer barrel in there. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It chocolate Tootsie Roll. That's what it was. I'm getting Easter Bunny candy chocolate, chocolate Tootsie Roll, multi. I mean, this is 100% the most chocolate forward whiskey I've ever tasted. It's really good, but it's 100% not for everybody, especially for its price tag. Um, that is unique, and I will definitely be sharing it with somebody uh, just because I think it's such a unique take on a whiskey. I got to give it props. It does a good job for what they're aiming for. That is definitely beer barrel finished. I would have said chocolate milk at the end of the day finished, but nonetheless, kind of digging it. It's a little different. Well... <laughs> how in the world do we grade something like this this is a great question i think the hardest thing about it is that it's not going to be for everybody the profile is unique it's different and it's fun it's 125 dollars, and i you know for grading scale wise i'm going to give it a c plus i think it's fun i think it's good to a certain extent it's not going to be something I'm going to be pour, pouring off the shelf every night. Uh, this is a very special occasion bottle. This would be something that I'm going to pull out for a friend that really wants to try something like this. And to be honest, I think your average consumer, it's not going to be for them unless you truly know what you're getting into. That is chocolatey through and through, and I love that to it. But as complex as the beer barrel finishing is, the whiskey itself didn't bring enough to the party for me to give it the uplift that it needed to get up into the B range. If you get the opportunity to try it, should you? Yes. But I also don't think you should go out and drop $125 on this for the fear of FOMO. Uh, but overall, it's a unique sip, I'll give it that. So yeah, there you have it folks. Journeyman Distillery, corsets, whips, and whiskeys finished in beer barrels. If you have any questions about the bottle itself, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific spirits I should go looking for, also let me know down below. Love doing these reviews and sharing with you the experience at home. And as always, may our last drink of the night be the best one.